Surviving the ambush is one of the most important skills that you can have for an armed robbery. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson. Today's lesson comes to us from Brazil and unfortunately the good guy's not going to make it out of this one. Shows an armed robbery that goes down very, very quickly and results in the death of the good guy and both armed robbers. Going to show some important lessons about situational awareness, about being ready to go in the moment as well as spiritual fitness. These two Moto Choros just jump off their bikes here and they're intent on evil. They go into this place and there's a guy in blue you can see in the middle of the screen and he's a security guard. And he gets into a gunfight with both these guys. They both decide to draw a gun and the red guy in red shirt does as well. And red shirt runs off here very, very quickly. It's kind of hard to see because it's behind the pillar here. And then white shirt finally gets up and kind of wanders off like a zombie. And we're gonna go back out to the outside here in just a second. And what we're gonna see is that red shirt's gonna try to get back on the bike and get away, but he's not gonna last that long. Finally out here on the bike, he keels over. And if you go read the news story, he died at the scene. And then our guy in the white shirt, he lays down right there and dies at the scene. And the good guy dies at the hospital later. So let's go ahead and learn some lessons here. First one's about the, the attack out of ambush in these transitional spaces. These are where they happen all the time. And our good guy's kind of lazing around and now the attack happens. And we talk about not drawing on a drawn gun, about using your empty handed skills and about your situational awareness for this reason because he's outdrawn but he goes for the gun anyways. And here we see both these guys have a gun out and on each other. And of course, you're not gonna miss from this kind of distance but unfortunately neither is the bad guy from this kind of distance. And so they get into 50-50 where they're putting shots on target of each other. And you can see here that our good guy, you can just barely see has this bad guy down on the ground and he's hit him a few good times there and has gotten some significant shots on target. But of course it doesn't matter if you've had shots put on target on you because if you die in the conflict, it doesn't help you. He drives the second bad guy off and there's always a second bad guy to be at least aware of. But think about here that these guys are both mortally wounded and they're yet they're able to fight on for a significant period of time. So you gotta shoot until the threat stops. Finally, of course, the good guy didn't make it out of this one either. And so we talk about having spiritual fitness because you never know on the day that you're gonna meet God a lot of times that you're gonna do so. So make sure that part of your ASP is covered as well.